Hi guys, recycling centre gold or garbage today. That's where I've been out to Thornbury, where the recycling centre has a shop that sells stuff that's possibly worth keeping instead of going into the recycling. Uh, this is one of those things I would normally say, don't, don't buy, don't touch it at all, because it's infrared controlled, and unless you've got the matching infrared controller, it's not going to be a lot of good to you. But it only cost me uh, 48 pence. So I thought it would be worth having just so we can take it apart. It's clearly got some sort of differential steering. If I turn that wheel that way, that one's going the opposite way. And they both go the same way if I turn it that way. So that's how the steering is done. And then we've got a caster wheel at the front there that will uh, move according to what we're doing back here. Toy State Industrial, made in Shenzhen, China. Uh, let's have a look, see if it's got any batteries in it. Mm. I can't imagine they'll be any good. No. That's all brown and horrible. But the actual battery contacts look okay. So I'll go and get three AAA batteries. Okay, three fresh batteries. Okay, nothing happens. So, let's try some of my infrared controllers, because I happen to have them all out, because I bought an infrared controlled helicopter yesterday. None of them matched with it, which is why I say don't buy infrared. Well, I've tried a few of my controllers and it's not talking to any of them, so we'll take it apart. Looks like a screw hole in there. I did notice there were drops of water coming out of it. I hope it is water. <laughs> it may have got wet where it was stored. Did these come off? like that unclips somehow.
Ah, come on, how did you come out? Expect we'll end up breaking it. Well, it took a lot of effort, but I got it out on this side in the end. That's a clip. We have to get that part that way, lever it out, so the rest of that clip can push inside. So that's what I'm doing here. Except that's in the sh shadow, and that. Uh, there we go. So I'm levering that out, and then it comes out easily. So it's that bit I have to get out. So that's got them apart. So now the whole thing should come apart with a bit of luck. Something's still holding it. I don't seem, seem to have missed any screws. Might be something in the battery compartment. That's all it was. Right, so here we are. Well, it is a bit wet, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. And those two contacts there. Rubberized with a conductive surface, I think. Or is it just the. That might be the conductive bit at the back there. That should make contact there and there. But it's all wet. This is our gearbox. I've come across one of these before. When power goes one way, both wheels turn the same direction. And when the power goes the other way, they reverse directions. One goes one way and one goes the other. January 2013. I'll see if I can clean it up just in case we can get it to work like it is. Well I've tidied it up but it doesn't work. Um, these pads here look like they've uh, completely disappeared. There should be uh, a surface all the way around there and inside on both of these. So pushing the uh, little red that thing onto there, those pads have no effect. And I've tried shorting across them to see if I can manually do it and that doesn't do anything. I assume, uh, well I don't know what to assume actually, I don't know what its purpose is possibly to turn it on and then it runs for a limited period. Don't know. That little chip there is a TC118S for sugar. Uh, that's the motor driver or H-bridge to drive the motors. 
or motor, there's only one motor, but I can't get it to work. So what I've really got is I've got a nice little gearbox unit for 48 pence. Um, if I connect up some power to it, Have a look what we got. I'll do it. Give myself a bit more room. Okay, so that drives both wheels the same direction. And if I swap it over. You'll see one wheel's working one driving one way and one's driving the other. Can you see that? I think we can. So like I say, 48 pence, that's basically what I've got out of it. The infrared's no use to me, it doesn't work. I could replace it. I could replace it with a little 27 megahertz receiver and convert it to radio control. Uh, and that would work. I might think about that. I've just been rummaging through my uh, junk box and I found this receiver. And I've just temporarily rigged it up to a battery and I've measured the outputs and it looks like it works with this transmitter. So I'll fit this into our little dumper truck or whatever it's called but we're gonna have to cut it about a bit I think because this is quite a bit bigger than the original receiver. So well, I think we'll get it in. I can see where I think I can fit it. So we'll have a go. Looks like that works. Before I put it back together, I'll just point out we've got this little lever here that moves the shovel, whatever we call it, at the front. And that runs off that there, I think. Hmm. We'll find out when we get it back together. All back together. Forwards. Turn in reverse. Forwards. A bit too far. It's slipping a little bit on the floor here so it's not going straight. Wheel spin, I suppose. <laughs> well, it goes straight once it's built up speed. tripod see if we can do it with one hand. Well we've only got one control so we should be able to do it with one hand. So turn forwards. Turn. Oh, too far. There is a minor problem, 
because of that red uh, dome was the on-off switch before, I haven't fitted that, so there's no on-off switch on it. So I have to take the batteries out. needs proper steering when you can do that. I love these single channel things. Anyway, I guess that's job done. Conversion from infrared to 27 megahertz. That wasn't what I planned to do today. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.